Now, what we are going to do is in the uh, basically the uh, most of the things are already you know added. So wheel wheelchairs are there, portable stuffs are there, technicians are there. Okay. So in this step, we will be understanding that how to create an equipment group. Okay. And that is what we are going to understand. And we are going to name those and create those. Okay. So let us do this thing. We are now going to uh, select this together. Okay. And then when we get this, we are going to put a right click onto that. Okay. And uh, we are, what we are going to do is we are going to right click onto that. And then we are going to point it to the transports. Okay. Transport group. And then we are going to check whether that has been came into the transport groups. So where that is. Okay. So when I took it, add new group. Here is my new group. And the parent group will be transports. Okay. And I renamed that as wheelchairs. Okay. Wheelchairs. So we created a group whose parent group is going to be the transports okay that has been done now the next thing which we need to do is we need to create a group for these technicians okay so let us right click here go into the group and we need to add a new group we have here let us rename that to text okay and assign the parent group to staff okay so the technician groups is also done now what we're going to do is so we need to create a equipment group now okay and that is going to be for the portable ekg and it would be for the x-ray so first we will go to the portable ekg we have a group here we put it AK, ekg the parent group we are assigning as equipment okay and we close that okay here we close that okay now what we are going to do we are going to assign multiple things into this so if you see we have made a group of wheelchairs technicians portable ekg1 right as a group okay so now by doing this we have done a next step as a milestone in our simulation modeling which is we have created an additional groups for the objects we just imported into our flexim environment now the next step which we are going to do is we are going to use equipment in a treatment phase. Okay, we are going to use equipment in treatment phase. So for example here if you see the MD examination then we consult then we escort to exit right. Here we need to create a additional area where we are supposed to give a treatment. Okay, we are going to give a treatment to that. So, what we are going to do? So, we are going to draw, a, you know, what I can say, a new box between this consult and escort exit. Okay. So, a new container let us put in between these two. Okay. After MD examination, it should go to the processing treatment. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is, we have created a container. Okay. And if you see in the library of healthcare, if you see here, you're going to see all these different, different, different types of sets. Okay. So you can have that basically uh, created here or you can do multiple different stuff out in there. So now what we're going to do is we are going to ask or we are going to create a process flow where we are going to decide the treatment type. Okay. If that is EKG or that is X-ray, okay, and based on that, then the person would be sent to the different types of, you know, uh, you can say different types of treatments. So now the best thing which we need to do is first we need to put in a decide here, okay, and we are going to rename this decide such that what treatment type has to be given to the uh, patient, okay, so the treatment type question mark is our important milestone after this thing now okay let me make this bigger probably okay 
here comes our treatment time okay now we are going to uh, connect you know basically uh, the connector which we had between this we'll just drag it to here okay so it is now connected to the treatment type activity okay then what we need to do now so we need to you know have this equipment because this is a portable ekg which is in the storage area this has to be transported by someone okay so that is where we need to use move equipment then process activity is set okay from the system out in there okay so this is a predefined activity set we are going to have okay so you need not have to create from this process it was just for your information that you can also add these types of blocks or containers in between and start modeling into that okay but we wanted to move this portable ekg to the patient's table so that the doctor can be you know using that and then again supply it to the storage area based on the treatment type it is going to have okay for premium content do not forget to visit our website leansimcorp.com where you will be getting all these premium contents available so talking about what what things you are going to get in you are going to get in you know simulation solutions you are going to get premium training classes for simulation stuffs you will be getting 3ds model file support you can buy modules you can access to simulation case studies you can visit our services also you can visit the blogs which you're going to get so i was talking about simulation solutions right you can schedule one on one session with us you know for training and details you can access our digital assets like learning center okay so here comes you know the booking online environment talking about training classes you can access premium training classes once you are going to purchase our subscriptions you will be able to you know access our training classes which are listed out here and these are continuously getting upgraded guys talking about blogs here we bring in you know blogs from travel experiences health devotionals like industrial engineering personality development simulation tech and lot more interesting and exciting so do not forget to visit our website linsimcorp.com for